Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, all-time leading scorer for the Lakers familiarly. Oh man, um, Lakers. I really don't know basketball very well. Is it Kobe maybe? Kobe Bryant? That would fit. That would kind of be familiarly. Let's see if we can confirm that. Oh, we've got these long grid spanners. Okay. Cold War initials. Hmm. I mean, could it be the KGB? They kind of only existed during the Cold War, right? Hybrid citrus fruits. Well, um, I mean, maybe it could start with an orange. It looks like it's going to be a portmanteau, probably. Yeah. Let's look at this bee here. Native American canoe material. Hmm. I mean, this is kind of a guess, but maybe it could be birch wood. It's probably a wood of some kind, right? Columnist Klein. Hmm. I don't know if I know that one. Let's take a look at this first big grid spanner here. Old Pro. Hmm. Uh, something that just popped into my mind was Grizzled Veteran? That's a term for an old pro, right? Grizzled Veteran? And that fits. That's really nice. And it has two Z's in it. And looking at this grid again, look at this. It looks like there's a giant Z in the middle, right? I wonder if that's what our theme is. Do you think it's just going to be a surplus of Z's? Yeah, I wonder if this next grid spanner is going to have two Z's in it also. Let's take a look. Raucous music style similar to Boogie Woogie. Hmm. I mean, I would guess maybe it's something jazz. I don't know, just because of the Z's that I'm thinking we might be dealing with. But I would have no idea how it would start. Let's see if this is a Z over here. This clue number minus D. Oh man, um, that would be, what, 11 in French? I definitely do not know that. Okay, so this would be a Z too though. Partner of confused. Ooh, yeah, that's a dazed and confused, right? All right. So maybe our suspicions were correct. Let's see, let's put in jazz. And let's just double check this J here. Blue state. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about like California. Um, maybe it's just a state of being sad. Um, hmm. This J is very weird here. It might not necessarily be jazz at the end. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should take that out. Um, yeah, let's see. What is this here? Bird with a reduplicative name. Whew, what a word here. Um, maybe that just means it's the same syllable twice. That could be a dodo. Um, still have no idea about this 11. Speechify should be orate, though. Okay, maybe it is jazz after all. It's not deja vu or anything. Action after a bad golf drive. Hmm. I don't know, a mulligan? <laughs> I don't think so. Um. Hmm. Maybe it is like a retry of some kind. Re-T? I've never heard that before. Got an A plus on should be aced though. Let's see. Large unit of resistance. Well, a unit of resistance is an ohm if we're talking about electrical resistance, right? So maybe it could be a tera ohm, right? That would be like, I don't know, like a trillion ohms. That would be a lot of resistance. Maybe it is re t, and this would be ons, ons, onzi. I have no idea. Um, but maybe that's right. Oh, and then this could be dejection. Yeah, that's a state of sadness, right? Yeah, all right. I think we confirmed our jazz. That's great. Okay. 
Law and Order spinoff for short. That's SVU. I just love building off these rare letters. The answers come so much quicker usually. Modern day horse and buggy users. I think the only people that regularly use horse and buggies these days is the Amish. Okay. Blank American, could that be all American? Kind of like Team USA from yesterday. That's not impressing me, could be meh. I still have no idea what this jazz glue is gonna be. Response to who wants some? That's gotta be I do. Or maybe it would be more like I do, I do, yeah. You're not getting married. Okay, bucks and bulls could be he's maybe those are both males right um something house jazz okay yeah that's making sense passions i wonder if that could be zeals like if you're zealous you're passionate right yeah that seems okay oh this is ezra klein yeah he's at the new york times now yeah that's right okay yeah i like his podcast okay um is it Barrel House Jazz? I've never heard of that before. It is sort of looking like it's going to be orange something, right? Big Dance Org? I have no idea what the Big Dance is. Um, it's capitalized though, so it's going to be like an event of some kind. I'm just going to guess it's the NCAA, and it has something to do with college sports. Hopefully the goose can let us know what it actually is. Um, and then we want this to be a G, probably? Don't make me eat that. Yeah, an equivalent phrase would be ugh, right? Um, this might start to be the other end of the portmanteau, so it might not be an E here. State in Tornado Alley abbreviated. Oh, man. Um, it's going to be somewhere in the central United States probably, right? Hmm. Like some insensitive remarks for short. Uh, maybe that's un... PC? Hmm. This is starting to look like it should be Nebraska, so maybe it's not birch wood. Maybe it's birch bark instead. That still makes a lot of sense. And then that could be Nebraska. That gives us a full orange here. Blank du jour bistro special. Um, I don't know. This is more French, so... Maybe it's like plot or something, like the plate of the day. Become rusted, that could be corrode. Um, we wanted this to be an L, right? I still don't know what it's gonna end with. Potato blank appetizer. Uh, I don't know, is it potato skins? I don't really think of that as an appetizer. Hmm. We wanted this to be a tea, right? Super hoppy craft brew. Um, it's not an IPA of some kind. Hmm. We ran into a little wall here. Let's see if we can build that from the center here. Bolivian capital. Oh man, I did not know that. Overhead cost of manufacturing. And this is wordplay. So this is not just about the money you spend on manufacturing equipment. Maybe it's literally something you would pay for to be overhead while you're manufacturing something like lights. Hmm. Or maybe like hard hats or something. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to be encompassed by. I mean, it probably ends in ED. I don't know. Give a pointer. This is another piece of wordplay here. Um, hmm. Give a pointer. So it's not about giving advice. Um, a pointer is a kind of a dog. Hmm. That doesn't seem right though. 50s campaign button name. That's good old Ike. Dwight Eisenhower. Okay. Um... Hmm, maybe it's poke, like you'd give someone a pointer finger, you'd poke them? Yeah, maybe. Info on a dating profile. It's probably age. That's usually something people want to know. 
Uh, oh, is it smog? Okay, it's a cost to the environment that goes overhead like into the air. Okay, yes, that is a big cost. Um, okay, encompassed by could be amidst. That's a good word there. Oh no, look at this. This is so unusual. This is a square that's not able to be confirmed by a crossing answer. That almost never happens. That's usually against the rules, but I think because of our Z theme, um, we're getting to encounter one today. So this is really tricky because it's part of a capital name that I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna wager that it might be a Z just because of our Z theme. And maybe this other uncheckable square will be a Z also, just as a kind of, you know, a little nice favor to us solvers to not have a square that's uncheckable, or at least have squares that are technically uncheckable, but are gettable because of what the theme is. Let's see, actually, is this gonna be another Z? Spaces out. Yeah, that should be zones out, right? Nice. All right. I think that makes me feel comfortable enough to put in La Paz here. Okay, we've got our two unchecked Z's. Um, all right, does that help us down here at all? Maybe. Lowest ranking GI should be a private, I think. Available to watch in a way. Hmm. Is it on video, maybe? Maybe it is skins, it's sort of what that's looking like, potato skins, okay. That seems more like a food you'd eat out of a plastic bag than an appetizer. Um, oh, is this drip something? It's not drip coffee. Hmm, would this be a D? No, we wanted it to be a T. Orangellos. Hmm. What is the end of this here? I'm not sure. Ello? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can build more off of this answer and see if we can build back in. Who said the only difference between me and the Surrealists is that I am a Surrealist? <laughs> I guess that's Dali. Maybe he was gatekeeping a little bit. That's funny. Okay. Construction vehicle informally. Um. Is this like a dump truck of some kind? I don't know. Blank day, down under holiday. Did they celebrate Arbor Day in Australia? I don't know, probably not. It's probably an Australia specific holiday of some kind. Studied up on, um, read up on? Wow, this is hard. This little section's tricky. You know what, let's peek at these last grid spanners. We know that they have two Zs in them most likely, so we might be able to get them without a lot of crossing help and they would help a lot down here. The titular Nelsons of a classic sitcom. Oh man, my old sitcom knowledge is not great. Um, but it's gonna be like the title of the sitcom. Hmm. I don't know if I can think of that one. What's this one here? Dish with tomatoes and mozzarella. Isn't that just a caprice? Hmm. It's gotta be some kind of pizza probably, right? Something pizza. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna start though. You two front man, that's Bono. Okay, that'll help. Okay, so studied up on could be boned up on. Hmm. It's not Arbor Day. Okay. Is this a triple IPA? Jeez, okay. I haven't really heard of that, but it seems like that's what it wants to be. Animal whose name consists of the postal codes of two states it passes in its migration. Okay. Um, well, there's Oregon and California and Orca. And those are right next to each other. That seems pretty good. Okay, Orca. Um, but what is this, do car? I have no idea. Okay, maybe this is a Neapolitan pizza? I think I've heard of that, okay. Oh, and this is a dozer, yeah. Why wasn't I thinking Z's? I really should have put a Z in there, okay. A bulldozer, and then this is Anzac Day? What in the world is that? Anzac Day, jeez, I've never heard of that, okay. 
Um, Ozzy. Is this Ozzy and Harriet? Uh, I've heard of those names. I didn't even know it was a television show. Um, but that would make sense and it fits. So let's see if we can confirm that. European Peak should be an Alp. Yeah. Actress Vardalos. I think that's Nia. I think I've seen that name before. Some NFL lineman abbreviated. That could be defensive tackles. I think that's okay. It can be tipped or collect tips. You can tip your hat and you can collect tips in a hat. Yeah, okay. British meat pie, that's a pasty. And then whichever could be any. Okay, yeah, I think we're all good here. I think Ozzy and Harriet and Neapolitan pizza are looking very good. Okay, so I think we got all our grid spanning Z answers. And I think we probably got the last of the Zs too, so. But yeah, this was really cool. I love this Z in the middle, that's really neat. And then, yeah, these uncheckable squares, that's very rare to see. And I love the way they did it where, you know, if you're thinking theme-wise, it's not too hard to figure out what should go in there, even if you don't know La Paz. Um, I really think this has to be plat, but let's make that our last square. All right, bit of sweet talk could be a coup, yeah. If you're talking lovey-dovey. Island west northwest of Molokai. Oh man, I mean, it's probably in Hawaii. I'm gonna guess it's Oahu, maybe? Let's see. Knapsack? And this is more wordplay, so it's not gonna be about a backpack. Um, it's probably gonna be somewhere where you actually take a nap. Uh, is it just a cot, maybe? Speckled coat could be Roan. Yeah, we saw Roan yesterday. That's kind of like... Um, a brown or black horse that's got white speckled into its hair coloring. Yeah, maybe this is a tea bundle up. Maybe that's suave. Yeah, I like that. Okay, like you would with a baby. Um, seminal punk band with the that's got to be the Ramones. I do know that band. Fanciful ideas. It's got to be whims. Oh. Uh, MN? That seems weird. Make easier to recite as the Great Lakes via homes. Okay, so this is about making a mnemonic device, right? So it's gonna be mnemonize? <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god. I think that's what it has to be though. I guess that's the verb to make something into a mnemonic. Um... Nemanize. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. That's a crazy word. Okay. So that's Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior, right? Those are all the Great Lakes. Okay. Vodka cocktail with cranberry and grapefruit juice. Um, is it a sea breeze? That seems likely. I don't know that for sure, but that sounds like a cocktail. I wonder if you could sub in orange jello in to a sea breeze. Well kept could be neat. Wall Street credential is definitely an MBA. Masters of business administration, I think. Globe could just be an orb, yeah, so that gives us a stab for a wild guess, yeah. This is looking like usurp, take by force, yeah. Is this the Utney Reader? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a newspaper. It's a newspaper that's famous on the crosswords and not that famous outside of crosswords. It costs about twice as much if it's round. <laughs> it's a round trip. Yeah, that's funny. That's a really good that's a really good clue there. Um, and then what's our last square here? Or second to last square, I guess. Nest protest? Yeah, that's a protest from a little baby bird. Maybe a little baby dove. Um, and then a restaurant water choice would be tap. Yeah, okay. And then, yeah, I guess let's just throw in an L here. All right, Goose, what is an orange jello? What is an orange mixed with to make an orange jello? Okay. All right, well, now that we've learned something new, let's put our last L in and see if that does it for us. Nice, okay. We've got a Wednesday puzzle in 21. That seems like a really good time for us for Wednesday. And. What do we think about the Z theme? I think this was exciting. This is really cool. I love when they do drawings with the grid. That's always a fun surprise when you open the puzzle and you kind of see a picture. Um, and then, yeah, it's impressive that they were able to get 
these two stacks of double Z grid spanning answers, um, it seems like that would have been a challenge to come up with. So that's pretty cool. And of course, I love our two non-checkable squares in here that ended up being Zs, so it didn't end up being that bad. I loved Grizzled Veteran. That's a great term. I don't know what Barrel House Jazz is, um, but I'm sure it's a real thing. And then Ozzy and Harriet, I'm sure is well known to a certain generation of people. And then uh, Neapolitan Pizza is pretty good too, yeah. I liked Nemonize. <laughs> That's such a crazy word. I don't know. I wonder if some people are gonna be angry about this, but this is just so like funny to me that they made this into a verb. Um, I like sea breeze. That's nice. It's a nice summary word. And orangellos. This was a nice term to learn. Yeah, I like learning something new on the puzzle every day. And we had some nice theme answers on today's puzzle too. Knapsack. That's a solid classic wordplay clue. I like this one a lot. I think this is my favorite wordplay clue today. Overhead cost of manufacturing. Nice. It's got a little green message in there. Smog. Yeah, this one was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed catching some Z's with me on today's puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.